switch. Hello, it's a good morning to you, our lovely viewers. This is Snowy Ghana. Once again, I'm back to your screens with another update. And today, as always, this video will be very, very short. Today, I bring you a warning from our farm. It's been a while since I came to your screens, and we have been on a few other projects, especially the project that I promise you will be moving around with vans to buy snows. We are almost through with it, and in due time, I will bring you an update. Now, this one goes to all snow farmers, but before I begin, I would want you to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't, and also to hit the bell icon. This will enable you to get notifications anytime we post new content. Now, we are almost into, or we have just started the dry season. We are somewhere November ending. Now, as I made it clear to you earlier on, the dry season is the season where most snow farmers quit snow farm. About 60 or 70 percent of snow farmers quit during the dry season. November, December, January, February, and sometimes late March. This is the season where most snow farmers quit snow farming. And I would want to see you in the next rainy season. So I bring you this warning. Now, this is the time that the rains aren't coming. So your best bet at this moment is to make sure you are watering your snow farm frequently. You need to secure more avenues for water because if you are not careful, the rate at which you would record mortalities, you may be discouraged because this is the season where the snows likely enter into estivation when you don't do the right thing. So I bring you this warning and I plead with you, I want to see you in the next rainy season this is the time this is the season that you are likely going to lose a lot of snows don't be surprised when this happens but then there are a lot of remedies or a lot of things that you can do to get away from this though you record mortalities but it shouldn't be above the roof it shouldn't exceed certain percentage now on this same channel i have a very extensive video where i talk about the mortalities you have to expect when it comes to snow farming now in the dry season you are likely going to lose a lot of snows if you don't do things right the only thing you have to make sure or ensure you have in abundance is water or you have to make sure you have secured a good source of water either than that you are likely going to quit snow farming because you will record a lot of mortality. So, try your best and secure great avenues for water or water source. Either than that, you will quit snow farming. I want to see you guys in the rainy season. As I promised you the other time, we are working on a project which we are likely going to end or finish very soon, where we'll be buying all snows from all angles will be moving around in vans to buy all your snow from you i want to see you i want you to be involved so i bring you this special warning that be careful we are in the dry season and you have to make sure and sure this is the time that you have to be visible this is the time that you have to try and keep track of your snows make sure they are in good shape make sure you are watering them frequently make sure your snows most importantly are not dry because dehydration can kill your snows in no time now for our project that i mentioned to you earlier on we are we are almost through with it and we want you to be involved we are going to buy all your snows we'll be at your doorstep you give us your snows we pay you off and we leave now would be one of the biggest snow buyers in this country so i just want you to be involved i just want you to be involved now till i come your way another time it's a bye bye from us all